right, so the first thing I did was uh, took the grinder and I ground off the teeth on the edge because we don't need any of those extra um, stress points to cause any fracturing in this blade. It's bad enough we have all of this that's going to it's going to weaken the blade. I mean, there's just no, you already have a, a crack point there. If you were to imagine this to be like a piece of glass, um, you score it and then snap, it snaps right off. So um, that's one of the one of the things to be concerned about with, with farrier and file knives. Hopefully your tempering is good enough to do that. But uh, I'm going to go ahead. I was going to actually make one of his a small knife like he did. But let's, let's, let's turn this into a forged and fire kind of copycat challenge. Let's go ahead and uh, see what we can do with this knife. I'm going to give myself one hour. Can you see it? It's 12.50. All right. One hour. I'm zoomed in. I'm zoomed out. Go ahead and see what we can go ahead. It just, I mean, just a simple forge. I'm not even going to put a wooden handle on it. I'm going to forge this thing out into a shape. Uh, and we'll run it through some tests. Let's we'll see what happens to it, right? Since we're going to challenge ourselves and make this fun, let's go ahead and do some type of a, a funny blade like this. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. So, actually, let me draw it in your perspective. So, uh, I'm going to want the cutting edge to be a little bit like that, kind of like a chopper. Um, we'll come up to a point, something like that. We'll come over to a handle. Again, I'm not going to put a, a scales or anything on it. Maybe we'll punch a little hole in there and stretch that out. Um, kind of like a chopping. Is it a karembit? Or is it the other one you guys asked for? Another K1. Shouldn't I know these? I don't know them. I make knives, you know? I like, But something like that. I'm going to try to see if we can come up with something. Something different. I mean, hell, we got an hour, right? First thing I'm going to do is get these teeth flattened out. By the way, uh, often I'm asked how long does it take to take cold steel and bring it up. So you saw that last clip and it was just a second or two ago. Four minutes to get that knife the way it was from when I started the challenge. So, depends on the forge. Well, not the forge. Depends on the heat. Where are we? No, I don't have anything special going on there. All, right, all I did here is spin around so I can get the other teeth. The rest of the teeth on this end figured out. So as much as I'd rather have no teeth in the edge, I'm going to go ahead and make this the edge just for the challenge uh, and we'll try to texture this down. Now, I'm going to lose some of the, the teeth in the process, but um, at this point my mission is what kind of knife edge can we get out of the teller? That was the objective. Um, that's what I wanted. That's why I promised the guy I would uh, test. But we'll uh, get a quick shape. Start putting some type of shape on the end of that. Now that ugly stuff on the end, I'm going to grind off. I don't want that weakness in there. But hopefully by the time we get done putting a shape on it, There won't be a lot to ground. And I'm not trying to change the thickness at all here. I'm just trying to bring that tip down. Back to the next heat. I'm okay with that. I think we'll be okay. Alright, next thing I want to do is use my blade and handle. So I'm going to go ahead and have the blade about this long. I'm going to bring this handle up now. That's the hope anyway. All I want to do is drop that blade so I quench the top of the handle. Hopefully not to distort it too much. We got a little room to play, but not a lot. I 
almost rolled it there, but we're good. Ten minutes. Recording. that around and hammering this side I brought the handle back up to the spine practically. It's not gonna be the prettiest work I did, but let's put some good, good work. Alright, let's go ahead. Oops. Let's see, what do I want? Yeah this is the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and get that handle the rest of the way down. Got the right tongue for the job today. I'd be done if I had the right tongue. Heat is at hope. Good enough. Who needs a power hammer anyway? We could have had a much bigger blade. Grab too much for the handle. trying to do now is can you see it? Ignore the tail in there. That's going bye bye. I'm trying to keep pretty close to the same spine thickness. Get rid of that tail. It has been 16 minutes. Get rid of that tail man I wish I had sharpened my cutter. Of course what do you expect when you're cutting trying to cut tungsten carbide on it right? Thing it's about bad enough. There we go. Go ahead and put a little round. Whoa, missed. A little roundness on this. Let's see if we can drift something out. All right, let's see what we can do about opening this up a little bit. Why? Oh man, that handle's way too long. Shoot. I don't. Now I was lost the whole heat. I actually want that handle. Ah, the hell with it. All right, we're going to go right here. We'll mark it for the next time so we don't dilly-dally. Lost the heat. It's time. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can just get the hole through there first. Right now I'm thinking I wish I had annealed this file a lot more than I did. About a crack in it. So that ain't bad. Except I caught my glove on a flare from all the radiant heat. So that's a start. I don't know if you saw the last one, I might have been out of sync. I got that little punch through and I'm gonna go ahead and stretch it a little bit with this one. Okay, the next step up, I don't do this very often, so I really don't have punches specifically for that. I'm starting to think this might have not have been the right project to try it out because I'm on a time clock here and it has been two minutes. 
No. 10, 22 minutes. I, wanted, I would like the 14 done in 30, so I have time for grinding. Come back the other way with it. I don't know what to move first here for crying out loud. Oh, that punch is too big for the hole. Another heat lost. All right, let's try it again. Just kind of hit it on the grinder a little bit just to see if I can get a minute of the taper there without breaking the nut. Gosh. Get it started in the pritcher. Right, that's as far as I want to go with it. Right now, anyway. Looking ugly, but... I'm working like a spastic moron, you know? I'm running out of time here. Should have never went for the hole on the end. That was silly. Alright, so let's hope we can get that punch through where I want it now. One more heat and have this little game done. Hell, that's good enough for me, I'll tell you. See if we can smooth that ground up. I can do an awful lot with the grinder. But for now, I'll take it. Cause I know it's cheating to use the grinder, but we're under a time clock. Just a little heavy there. The grinder. I wish I could do a little quicker, do a better job for you there. But we're just gonna flatten this out, get it relatively the same thickness all the way down through. Redrift that hole after doing that, and then we're going to call this handle done because of time. That it all will redrift and we'll be on our way. More time through with the drift just to keep it. Peter from to pay Paul here a little too since he had to come back here. Clean that corner up a little bit. Now if I can just get it down without I'm down with it. I'm okay with that hole. Alright, now what I want to do is I want to bring this blade up a little bit. So I'm gonna to try to narrow this down in the in this part. Just push some of that forward so that we get a bit of an odd looking blade to it. Onto the blade. Uh, I don't know where I am in this camera. I'm trying to focus on so many things at once. But this is where we are with the blade. So if I, you missed the last couple of scenes, I'm trying to put that curve into the blade a little bit. But I gotta make sure I don't change the thickness out here too much. So, I'm just working it. Just enough. At work, I'll tell you. Yeah, I think we're good. Fat back here. A little fat back there. I think we can make the rest work. It is a definitely new. Lady designed for me, that's for sure. Ah, get an edge now, this is where Chandler says, Why did you say one hour, not an hour and a half? It has been 33 minutes. Whoo, yeah, still got the fin final forging and all the grinding to do. Holy crap! All right, let's draw a taper on this thing. tip down. Come on.
called a slipper. A slipper is that? That's what we're going to do next. I wish it was prettier for you guys, but it is what it is. I need to get on the ground here. Alright, what do we got here for strangers? Alright, so the new slip, slipper blade <laughs> coming to a store near you. We're going to bring this thing up red hot. We're going to go ahead and let it in, uh, uh, normalize right, while I get the garden time. set up. I had to uh, quench it. It was just getting a little too cold, so I'm not good, but we're after the, the time for something.
still there. Uh, rough grind. Uh, a little cleaner edge than I wanted to. I hope I don't end up cracking there, but we're going to go and harden this thing up. It is... Yeah. 139. It gives me 10 minutes, boys. Hey, girls. Is, do we have any cracks? I don't see any. All right, wire brush and then temper quick. We're not gonna make it, but let's see how close we can get. So normally I clean it up a little bit more, but I want to be able to see the temper colors, you know what I mean? So we didn't do this, but <laughs> even here where I'm really rough around, it's still biting well. So I'm going to go ahead and put this tip in as a heat sink, best I can, and we'll heat this sucker. I hope I have enough propane to do it. Pulled the torch off of it. That's all we're gonna do. Get a nice temper and we'll lock that in. Alright. Should get a good edge out if I can get an edge out and I really hacked <laughs> that grind job. But it's uh, 146, we got four minutes.